Hello YouTube, it's me Gamer, and today I'm going to be drawing Espio the Chameleon, I think. I first saw him in the Sonic Heroes uh, game for Xbox, but I'm pretty sure he appeared before that. So, in starting off this character, we're just going to start off with a sketch outline, basically. Just wherever I want him to start off at. And nothing's going to be very detailed just yet. We just want to start off with the basics. And now that we've got the uh, general sketch outline done, we can start working on the face. The face is usually what makes a character uh, actually look like that character. So we want to be very careful when doing this. Uh, we're going to start out with some sketch lines first of his eye. And we're going to curve it around. We're going to stop it about here. That looks good. So that sort of represents where his other eye is at in relation to this one. Sonic characters' eyes always seem like they're wearing some sort of goggle-type mask. I guess not really a mask since it is part of their face, but you know what I mean. Erase a little bit of that. We're going to curve this down a lot. The more curved you make this line here above his eye, the more angry or determined you can make him appear. And then coming off right from the center of this spot here is his uh, horn, I guess, because he is a chameleon. These chameleons have these types of things. We're not going to mind that too much at the moment, but that does look pretty good. Move the eye up a bit more. And bring out this line back here. Sort of stop it a bit. Then bring on the rest of his top spike. Or I guess it's not really a spike so much of a... Well, we're just going to call it a spike just to make things easier. Before we move on to that too much... Finish up his mouth here. And his eye. And I sort of want to make his eyes a little bit more determined. So we're going to curve these out a bit more. Down here. Finish up this back spike. Now we're going to work on uh, sort of finishing up the details of this character because I've got a few things that just don't look quite right. We need to fix those. Draw on his pupil there, on his eye. And now we're going to work on the rest of his body. Um, we're probably not going to stick too much to the original sketch that I did. But we are going to just sort of do the basics of it. I like the pose he had, so we're going to keep that for the most part. Espio's legs don't seem very tall because he has these bands. Um, I don't know, they look, sort of look like ninja bands or whatever, but he's got these bands that come up his foot uh, just above his shoe. And that sort of makes it look like his legs are smaller than they really are, but they're kind of tall. So Then on his chest, he's got a sort of different pattern uh, than most characters. Almost looks like a heart shape. 
We're gonna have his arm coming right out of his side here. Just above like that. The same thing sort of goes for his arms or his hands and stuff like that. They look a lot smaller because of these bands coming across his arm. Maybe these are a little bit shorter than I anticipated. But since we're having this foot come out more, that has to be a bit bigger. Because it looks like it's closer that way. Then I'm sort of trying to figure out where I want his arm to go in front of him. He just threw a ninja star, so I sort of want his arm uh, looking like he really did just throw it. So, sort of gotta have it in the motion of throwing something. Add in streaks coming around like this. It looks like he just threw a ninja star that direction. We do sort of need to shorten this up a bit more. Just to make things seem like they're in proportion. And I think since he uh, is a ninja, he should probably be stepping a little bit differently than just simply stepping. Now we're going to work on his uh, hands, which is sort of another signature thing about Espio. Mostly because of the uh, unique bands that he has going across his arm. So at the start of his hand here, he's got this larger portion of the band. And it has these beads going across it, I guess. They might be spikes or whatever. Just add in those designs. We've got to thin that out a bit. Sort of make it look like the... Uh, Spikes on the band actually pop up a bit. They're not very sharp. But they just need to seem like they got a little bit of dimension to them. We got this portion coming out across the top. It sort of seems rather ninja-like. That makes any sense whatsoever. Got it coming back around like that. And you can see where it goes off there. It looks like he's got some sort of blades up here, just about three of them. So you can add those in at the top. And then the rest of it beneath the band seems like a cloth of some type. So now we're going to draw his hand. Um. Sonic characters' hands are usually quite large, as opposed to the rest of their body. Somewhat makes them look disproportionate, but they're not. They're just oversized. And we're just going to draw in his hand like that, just as a four rectangles coming out this direction, and then one sort of coming up to the side. Add in a few lines up here for his knuckles. And now we're going to do the same for the other hand. And now for this hand, I sort of want to make it look like he is holding a ninja star with it. I'm not quite sure how to do that but I'm going to attempt to do so anyway. So we're going to have his first finger up a little bit. And the other fingers are just going to be laying flat against the blade. We're going to have the tip of it coming right from there. See, that's really quite different than what I had originally drawn, but that's okay. And I don't know why he has ninja stars this big, he just does. Don't ask me why, this is just what I saw in uh, Sonic Heroes. 
it's, it's somewhat awesome, but it's somewhat strange at the same time. Now we're going to add a little bit of dimension to the star itself. Adding in another line around certain edges. I think all his fingers need to be up a little bit. And we've got a few minor details to add on to his back. We got some black spikes in place of where Sonic's blue uh, back spikes would be. These are more like scales, I suppose. And then we're going to have his tail coming out behind him. Why are swirls so difficult? Alright, now we're going to work on his feet now. Uh, pretty much the bands on the feet have the same design going as the bands on his hands. Wow, that's weird. Because it rhymes. Anyway, um, only difference being that they don't have that extra part coming across the top of them. Other than that, it's basically the same. For the shoes, we're going to have the sole coming along the bottom. Just like that. And his shoes aren't really that pointed. They're more flat than the others. And his shoes have yet another band coming across the top. Make that a bit thicker. And then for these uh, shoes, you can see a lot more of the details. And then we got that band, of course, at the bottom. We have the top band. And we got the rest of it coming down like that. And there's not a whole bunch we have to worry about here. Just add in those uh, lines going across. And then his shoes are pretty much the same as the uh, last ones were, except I've got them at a little bit of an angle as he's stepping. The reason I have it tilted like that is because he's applying more pressure to his foot than any other part of his shoe, just because of how he steps. I think he would step like a ninja, and I think that's how a ninja steps, so don't question me. We're going to add in this ninja star ahead of him, sort of briskly. Since this is sort of tilted at an angle, it's going to look a little weird. And then to sort of make it look like the Ninja Star is sort of spinning quite fast, I'm going to add a few uh, more spikes coming out from the sides to make it look like that's how it's spinning. Okay, rephrase that. Um, you definitely want to make sure you got your lines the way you want them to be before we do our sharpie outline. That way you don't make a mistake and your drawing looks good. Now we're going to outline our drawing of Espio with a fine point sharpie. Pretty much you're going to outline all the lines you want to keep. And you want to do it somewhat carefully so you get a nice clean line. Just gotta go smoothly across all the lines you want to keep. And for this ninja star, uh, the outline in it is going to be pretty uh, brisk and undefined. And this is sort of going to help it make it look like it's moving a lot faster. 
Alright, so now that we got everything outlined, we're going to take an eraser, and we're going to erase all the pencil that's underneath the drawing. This is going to clean everything up. It's going to allow us to start coloring. Alright, so in starting our coloring of uh, SBO, we're going to start off with simple shades of each color first. What that means is we're going to take, uh, say, a pinkish color for his skin. We're just going to place this uh, light color all over his body where he has this same color. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to add in a lot of shading to help the drawing stand out a bunch more, and it just looks better when I get done with it. Alright, so now we're going to start our shading on SBO. Uh, first off, you sort of need to decide where you want your lighting to be in the drawing. I sort of want the lighting to be somewhat behind the character for this drawing, so that means all the shadows are going to be towards the front, and all the lighter highlights are going to be towards the back. And I'll show you what that means. First off, what you need to do is take a darker color than what you used to color originally, or just use that same color and press down darker. And we're basically going to color away from that lighting source. I'm going to darken this up a lot more. And this just really adds another dimension to your drawings. It really helps them stand out a lot more. Or it helps the character stand out a lot more. Pretty much we're going to go on and do that for the rest of SPO's body as well. And now I don't think we have enough highlight on these shoes. So I'm going to take my eraser and I'm just going to cut into the color a bit. This is known as subtractive shading, for those of you who didn't know. By using the eraser to cut in highlights. We're going to basically use the same technique for the entirety of the bands on his body. So apparently I had the view in the wrong place for a little bit, so I'm going to show you what I did. I added some gray streaks to the uh, ninja stars to make them seem more metallic, just like that. And I took a little bit of the eraser just to add some shine marks to it here and there. I also did a lot more shading on Espio, and I think I need about one more color just to sort of finalize the shading. It's going to be the farthest color, the farthest shadow. This is really going to darken things up. And for my final color, I think I'm going to use a little bit of black to really darken up these bands that need to be darkened. Okay, I shouldn't have said final color. Because I still got stuff to do. And just to wrap up this drawing, uh, I don't want to do too much for background. I'm just going to pull out some colors that'll sort of accentuate SBO a lot more. Mostly his skin color. Got a little bit of a shadow to his foot. And that's my finished drawing of uh, SBO the Chameleon. I really like drawing this character. <laughs> While I was going through it, I thought, oh, this doesn't look a thing like SBO, but 
Uh, with the finished project, I think it looks pretty good. Might even draw it again sometime. Uh, thank you to the user who requested this. Uh, Weave Tomp 15, I think. Sorry if I got that wrong. Your name should appear on the screen as well. Um, I hope you guys like this drawing. You should subscribe if you like this drawing because I plan on doing a lot more drawings of video game characters to come. And like I said before, this was a request drawing. I also take requests on drawings. If you want to send me a request, go to my channel, uh, go to the moderators module, just type in your request, a picture link, and any other details you'd like me to include in the drawing. And uh, that's all I've got to say for this drawing. Thank you guys for watching my video, and until next time, keep on drawing.